Welcome to Prepper's Paradigm. Today, we're continuing our How to Bug In series of videos with a crucial aspect of bugging in, ensuring food security. Whether you're facing a short-term disruption or a prolonged crisis, having a well-stocked pantry and strategies for long-term sustainable food sources is paramount. As preppers, we understand the importance of being prepared for any scenario that life throws our way. That's why, in this video, we'll explore essential tips for stocking up on long-lasting foods, calculating how much you need, and options for obtaining food after a major disaster. But before we dive into the details, I'd like to remind you to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll stay updated with the latest practical prepping advice that can help you thrive in any situation, and you'll help the channel to grow. Let's start by looking at building your stockpile of shelf-stable foods. It's essential to have a diverse and well-rounded selection of long-lasting foods to sustain you during emergencies. Start by stocking up on canned goods. These provide a convenient and long-lasting source of nutrition. Consider including a variety of beans, soups, vegetables, and meats. Next, include a selection of grains in your stockpile. Grains such as rice, quinoa, oats, and pasta are excellent staples that can provide essential carbohydrates for energy. Don't forget about dry fruits and nuts. These nutrient-dense foods offer a source of vitamins, minerals, and healthy fats. Consider including a variety such as raisins, apricots, almonds, and walnuts. Lastly, don't overlook the importance of frozen foods. While not as shelf-stable as canned or dried goods, frozen vegetables, fruits, and meats can provide a valuable source of nutrition and variety in your diet. By incorporating these essential food items into your stockpile, you'll be better prepared to weather any storm. Remember to rotate your stock regularly to maintain freshness and ensure you always have a supply of emergency provisions. Now let's move on to calculating how much food you need to sustain yourself and your family during an emergency. It's crucial to ensure you have an adequate supply to last through any crisis. The first step in quantity calculation is estimating your food requirements based on several factors, including family size, dietary needs, and the anticipated duration of the emergency. Consider factors such as calorie needs and nutritional requirements to ensure a balanced diet during emergencies. Remember, each person's needs may vary, so it's essential to tailor your calculations accordingly. I have a more detailed video on calculating how much food you need. There's a link to it on the screen now and in the video description below. Check it out after you've watched this video. Let's walk through an example calculation for a family of four preparing for a two-week emergency. Start by estimating the number of calories each family member will need per day, taking into account age, gender, and activity level. Next, multiply the daily calorie requirement by the number of days to determine the total calorie needs for the entire family over the two-week period. Once you have your total calorie requirement, you can begin converting this into specific food quantities based on the types of foods in your stockpile and their calorie densities. By following these steps and customizing your calculations to fit your family's needs, you'll be better prepared to ensure you have enough food to sustain yourselves during any emergency. Now that we've covered building your stockpile and calculating your food requirements, let's explore sustainable food sources that can supplement your emergency provisions and provide long-term resilience. Foraging is a valuable skill that can provide an additional source of nutrition during emergencies. Learn to identify edible wild plants and mushrooms in your area, but always exercise caution and proper identification techniques. Fishing is another sustainable food source, especially if you live near bodies of water. Equip yourself with basic fishing gear and learn techniques for catching fish, which can provide valuable protein and nutrients. Gardening offers the opportunity to grow your own food right in your backyard or even in containers on a balcony or rooftop. Start with easy-to-grow vegetables and herbs and gradually expand your garden as you gain experience. Raising small livestock like chickens can provide a sustainable source of eggs and meat. Even in urban areas, you may be able to keep a few chickens in a backyard coop, provided local regulations allow it. In addition to individual efforts, fostering community support and cooperation can enhance food security for everyone. Consider joining or forming a community garden, sharing resources with neighbors, or participating in local food swaps. By incorporating these sustainable food sources into your emergency preparedness plan, you'll not only enhance your resilience but also contribute to a more self-sufficient and interconnected community. In our quest for food security during bugging in, it's essential to explore food preservation techniques that can help extend the shelf life of perishable foods and minimize waste let's delve into some effective methods for preserving food for the long term. Canning is a popular method for preserving fruits, vegetables, and even meats. Invest in canning equipment such as jars, lids, and a pressure canner, and learn proper canning techniques to safely preserve your harvest. Dehydration is another effective way to preserve food by removing moisture, thereby inhibiting the growth of bacteria and mold. 
Invest in a food dehydrator or use your oven to dry fruits, vegetables, herbs, and even meats. Fermentation is a traditional preservation method that not only extends the shelf life of foods but also enhances their flavor and nutritional value. Experiment with fermenting vegetables, fruits, and dairy products to create probiotic-rich foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, and yogurt. Freezing is perhaps the simplest and most convenient method of preserving food. However, its use may be limited after a disaster if there is no power. Invest in a reliable freezer with ample storage space and package foods properly to prevent freezer burn and maintain quality. By mastering these food preservation techniques, you can ensure that your emergency stock power remains well stocked with nutritious and flavorful foods, even during extended periods of bugging in. As we conclude our exploration of food security during bugging in, it's evident that preparation and planning are key to thriving in any situation. By implementing the strategies we've discussed, you can fortify your resilience and ensure that you and your loved ones have access to nourishing food during emergencies. Building your stockpile with a diverse selection of long-lasting foods, calculating your food requirements accurately, and exploring sustainable food sources are essential steps towards ensuring food security. But our journey towards preparedness doesn't end here. It's essential to continue learning, adapting, and refining our skills to stay resilient in the face of ever-changing circumstances. So, I encourage you to stay engaged with the prepping community. Share your knowledge and experiences in the comments below and continue honing your skills to become more self-reliant and prepared for whatever challenges may arise. Thank you for joining us on this journey towards food security and resilience. Together, we can navigate uncertainties confidently and emerge stronger on the other side. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with fellow preppers. By doing so, you'll help spread valuable knowledge and empower others to take control of their own preparedness. Stay safe, stay prepared, and until next time, take care.